It's been no secret that George Lucas had made millions over the merchandising rights to Star Wars from the start. And it's no secret at all that Lucas was very unhappy with some of those deals, the main one being Kenner for the Star Wars toy rights. Lucas felt if 20th Century Fox had waited until the release of the film, they could have gotten a lot more in the deal and even had other toy companies in a bidding war. 20th Century Fox, however, saw the release of Star Wars as yet another movie being released and his toys and merchandise were just part of the promotion and nothing that really mattered that much at all. That deal 20th Century Fox made with Kenner would give the toy company exclusive rights to manufacture and distribute all toys, games, and crafts based on Star Wars. Kenner would pay Lucasfilm and 20th Century Fox a royalty of 5% of its gross sales. The agreement also stated that as long as Kenner paid Fox and Lucasfilm at least $10,000 in royalties during the previous year, then the agreement would extend for an additional year. In short, if Kenner sold more than $200,000 a year in Star Wars merchandise, the license agreement would continue. All Kenner had to do was pay the $10,000 in toy royalties each year to keep the rights. As for the deal between Lucasfilm and 20th Century Fox, 20th Century Fox would take a 15% fee for making the deal and the two companies would split revenue 50-50. There's a big Star Wars myth of how Lucas got 100% of the merchandising rights and left 20th Century Fox with nothing. But this isn't really true. Fox could sell anything they wanted to related to Star Wars, not just Lucasfilm. But Lucas did have complete control over the use of the name Star Wars, giving his company the sole and exclusive rights to use the Star Wars name. In Daniel Pollock's 1983 biography on George Lucas called Skywalking, Lucas had this to say about the Kenner deal. We've lost tens of millions of dollars because of that stupid decision. That statement from George Lucas did not sit well with Mark Priebus, the former head of Lucas Licensing Division, who believed that this statement from George Lucas could damage his name and his reputation, so Mark filed a lawsuit against George Lucas. The court date was set for May 24, 1985. In court, Mark admitted that it was true that 20th Century Fox made merchandising deals prior to the release of the film due to the fact that they saw it as promotion for Star Wars and not a way to produce cash. He also admitted that it was true that 20th Century Fox would get 15% for making the deals. George Lucas's lawyers had Mark admit that the term, giving away the merchandising rights, used by the author in the George Lucas biography Skywalking, was a meaning that Fox took a lower price for the rights. The court ruled that the statement was just Lucas's opinion of the deal between Fox and Kenner, the statement of lost tens of millions of dollars did not mean that Fox or Lucas did not profit from the deal, but that Lucas felt that he lost money that could have been made with a better deal. They also ruled that Lucas using the word stupid was seen as an opinion and not directed at Mark Priebus, but it was just how Lucas felt about the 20th Century Fox deal with Kenner, believing that he should have got a better deal. The lawsuit was dismissed by the court as Mark Priebus really had no basics for his claim. Although Lucas wasn't happy with the deal Fox made with Kenner, he was happy that there was one deal Fox backed Lucas on, and that was, whoever did make the Star Wars toys could not also produce toys based on the Steven Spielberg film Close Encounters of the Third Kind that was being released at the end of 1977. But that really didn't seem to matter much to Steven Spielberg, as according to Charles Liptoncock, Spielberg did not see his film as being one for toys. But Lucas did strike a more personal deal with Kenner, that they would send one of every Star Wars toy they made free to Steven Spielberg. Star Wars Rated PG starts tomorrow at a theater near you. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.